ones in you know ones that are removable and ones that are uh, look at this fucking shoot sorry all right so i'm done with my stuff at bikers pit stop uh i got some small addition done to the uh expulse and i'll show you what that is that is this uh, side stand uh, foot extender after yesterday's episode uh, got this piece installed so uh, let's see how it does it doesn't touch the chain it's like really far away so yeah something better than nothing and I'm off I'm off I'm gonna be riding back to riding back home these are the DRLs on the express I'm not it oh and these are this is a low beam sorry I missed that yeah okay let me put the visor down busy bustly part of town this is uh, so about the filters uh, for the RD350 what happened was uh, um, my friend sourced the filters from another seller uh, his boy went and got it and uh, they are I've seen those filters before they're fakes um, very easily distinguishable, uh, distinguishable if you've ever had uni filters before uh, uni filters are like really good quality and super cheap they're way cheaper than the KNNs so my friends advised me not to pick them up and said just wait hold on I will source them and in the meantime he's given me two El Cheapo filters some local filters called HP filters so yeah I'm gonna make do with them until the unis arrive um, so yep that's the scene uh, I know Gunjan for over over a decade or more um, yeah I will I will do uh, he's moving to a new place uh, is what he's told me so uh, when he does I'll go there and shoot a video of his new place and all the stuff that he has all right so we are riding back home and I may put a pit stop in our friend's place let's see if I do this is gonna take me past Bishop Gardens Bangalore Club in Bishop Gardens I just passed the petrol bunk, see? I could have gassed up there, but I did not. And sadly, in the CVD, they have shut down most of the petrol bunks because obviously real estate has become quite valuable here. And uh, yeah, there used to be. There are petrol bunks up that road, that's a one way though, so I'll have to go around and. Yeah, I grew up in this. Then my my school is up ahead, so you will see. We had a girls' school right opposite us. This is there are a lot of schools in this area. You go down this road, and you'll have uh, Baldwin's girls. I think Baldwin girls is on this side or Conrad Road side. Purple haze. Kona, Koreans, Bishop Cotton Girls, Sacred Art Girls, St. Joseph's College and now College of Law and the That's the school on that side. This is all Sacred Arts.
bars, back to two bars, see? Fuel tank is a little erratic. The old Imperial Deja Fry V Rice. <laughs> This is the Brigade Road Junction Chin Lung there St. Patrick's Church on your right uh, This is the St. Patrick's Church shopping complex Let me see if a friend is around Vishnu Ilva Kuro Vishnu Ilva Vishnu Mandir Ilva Ivo How da Okay sorry So this is another friend's place, fashion zone, we get stuff from abroad, good stuff. Uh, bakes and flakes, what is that? Alright, so now we are going into Markham Road, Markham Road, Oshia. Oshia used to be really good once upon a time, Cheetah Shop, St. Joseph's Commerce College. Patronizers, patrons, sorry, patronizers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chulbul Pandey. So uh, this fuel meter is like, like I said, erratic. It's going, showing me from one bar to two bars. We're not going into um, reserve mode, which is a good thing. Uh, the thing with the fuel, uh, with the fuel gauge on the interceptor or on the expulse, is that they aren't accurate. I don't know if more expensive motorcycles have better kind of fuel gauges but it's surprising that something as simple as that his manufacturers have not been able to sort out So we're not really riding through peak car traffic this is 8 o'clock in on a Saturday so it's not really P car. I'm also not taking the supremely crowded route. If I went through, um, if I went through the MG Road route, it would be very crowded. What I'm doing is I'm going through uh, the Magrath Road, uh, Richmond Road route, back into uh, Bangalore East. So. My legs hurting a little today because of the fall. Oops. place we just passed it and very 
into a turkey circle. I won't see it's, see it's back to two bars. You see, and the issue um, with running on low fuel is that the fuel pump no tail light where is he going to show indicators out from <laughs> have to uh, yeah Alsur RBNMS Going around the lake Yep So um, yeah, this is how this is. This route is usually a lot freer than coming through um, MG Road, Manipal Centre, um, Hasnath College side. I prefer coming through um, Free Circle in here, but I don't always take that route. Um, surprisingly. <laughs> Like when I leave from work, I go straight into Manipal Center because work is like right there. That used to be a uh, GK Vale. Not sure what happened to it. these days riding parallelly and talking taking the space of a car we just passed Milo Pearl and Watson's Watson's got a great view and is like pretty bustly on the weekends
there's a ESD here you hear that I was never a fan of the ESDs when I was younger Soundtrack, huh? Can you hear it? Let me open it. And the smell of smoke. Sounds good. Got a drop of gear, man. Bouncy. Whoop. I've set up my suspension at the rear to be super soft because I don't stand up and ride all the time but um, I guess I've got to make it a little stiffer My flow is a little broken and this boy is not taking uh, gaps so Yeah, so this is the place where I told you that people come in from the one way I guess the cops are busting people so we aren't doing that. This is Mukunda Theatre and this is Banaswadi Flyover. <laughs> this old Bata showroom has been here since forever. Uh, it's one of the first landmarks that I remember when I used to come into this part of town to visit an aunt. Surprisingly, I'm a little disappointed that I can't show you <laughs> peak levels of traffic and how this bike handles it. But then, I guess today I didn't time my journey like right, but um, it's not really heavy traffic. It's the same old erratic Bangalore traffic. Yeah, nothing unusual about it. Load is not too heavy today. That's about it. So, um, all right.
good. I haven't been talking much. Um, so let me tell you about some of the things that I had spoken about to Gunjan about the. Um, <laughs> balancing scenes gone wrong but not too much so um, I, had, I I was speaking to him about uh, aftermarket um, exhaust and he showed me a bunch of really cool well finished Indonesian exhaust nicely TIG welded like you know rings of stainless steel TIG welded together um, looks really nice um, let's see, um, the, the thing is, if I put an aftermarket exhaust on this bike, it will become street illegal and um, the x is a small bore, high compression, revy motor, so um, putting on an exhaust on this is going to make it loud. Uh, like, I mean, I have aftermarket slip-ons on uh, the interceptor, but um, it is... You know, the interceptor is like a big bore, 650 low compression unit and it has a deeper, more bassy kind of sound which is which is something that you can live with and, and also the exhaust, there are plenty of options and they all offer DB coolers, right? Um, with the X-Pulse, it's not the case. All of them do not offer ones in, you know, ones that are removable and ones that are... Eh. Look at this fucking shoot. Sorry, excuse me, excuse the profanity, but I don't know what these fucking guys do, man. Half the time, just too bombed. Look at this one headlight on a new car. Picture on the highway. Eh? going to be an accident waiting to happen. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to buy some stuff. See that? See that false neutral? I mean, getting stuck in neutral, sometimes it does. Also, my uh, left shin is hurting today after yesterday's little fiasco with this bike. Hey, you can get a better look at it now, I guess. Looks a little better. Alright. Yes, bye. Ninety. Ninety. Yeah. Some air fried potato cheapers. Supposed to be healthier than the deep fried ones. A little bit of a snack, some etchings. Uh, all right. Getting onto this bike is a little bit of a workout. We're gonna have it. Yeah, so what I was telling you about was about uh, the exhaust, right? So, yeah, 
a couple of other things that I want to do. Uh, so I'll tell you some of the issues. Uh, not they are not really deal breakers. Just some things that I've noticed. When you when I started the bike, uh, I don't. It's uh, it doesn't feel extremely natural because you're still standing up pretty high, um, and you're supposed to grip uh, the tank with your thighs. But not put pressure onto your handlebar because if you do put pressure on your handlebar what's going to happen is that um, you are going to inadvertently in a situation where you want leverage since you're using the handlebar uh, to support you you're going to wind up twisting the throttle and that's called whiskey throttle and that's going to be an un unintended opening of the throttle and can be extremely dangerous you could very easily crash right um, that's one issue uh, so the solution for that is um, getting uh, you know you get foot foot peg extenders so uh, Gunjan showed them to me but they don't look too great um, Joshua JC Moto sells them uh, again, uh, they have their own set of issues. Uh, I don't. <sighs> wow! Suddenly, I saw a lot of babies. That was not expected. Whoop! Who was? <laughs> Who's calling? Somebody's calling. Too many things happening. Somebody trying to race me, somebody trying to call me. Yeah, so like I was saying, let me keep riding. Um, so yeah, um, JC Moto, that is the issue. You have um, foot peg hangers that I didn't tell you what the issue is. Sorry, my bad. You have foot peg hangers that are, um, you know, that drop your, uh, the, the, the place where you keep your feet. So they are lower. I think they, from, from the look of it, it looks like they attach to the swing arm uh, mount. Uh, but the problem with it is that uh, it doesn't have uh, an ability to mount your um, rear foot peg uh, extent, uh, you know, your, the mounting for the rear foot pegs. Uh, the rear foot pegs sit on the same mount as the mount on which oh god yeah actually just wait here i don't want to ride on the footpath there so yeah what uh, yeah like i was saying so you have the foot pegs um from jc moto that sit somewhere you know instead of here it sits somewhere lower and this has this cover uh, you can't fit them on the JC Moto hangers neither can you can you see this 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 mounts into um, into the same mount on which the foot peg sits right can you see but uh, you can't do that with the JC Moto uh, but other than that it's it it looks like uh, it'll sort out the uh, straddling ergonomic kind of situation uh, that would set me back by around 8000 if I go for that they also have something which which modifies the t-stem uh, it kind of moves the, the handlebar which is kind of close to me further uh, and it's kind of adjustable changes a little bit of the geometry of the bike apparently improves handling and the and ergonomics uh, so that's that and then there's uh, so th those are ergonomic mods right and after that you have um, you have performance mods which would be which would start with uh, which is basically a combo of three things right your intake your exhaust and your fueling so the same thing that I did with the interceptor right uh, you would have uh, You know what i think i'll just fuel the bike up yeah um it's gone back to one bar so i'll fuel the bike up and i'll keep talking about what i was saying so
so yeah so you have that um, uh, as uh, in terms of exhaust they've got a lot of options so you have uh, quick shift uh, which I was talking telling you about uh, you have motor wings so the most promising to me looks like motor wings I got in touch with them they are right now uh, I think they retail for about uh, 12 or 13 grand they are right now selling uh, their exhaust at a discount for about 10k change it comes with um, a, a DB killer I think the DB killer is removable um, then you have quick shift which is made by uh, quick shift is like a like also another favorite I don't think the quick shift comes with DB killer uh, quick shift is made by um, uh, Dismotech which is Bangalore based uh, Dismotech makes um, aluminium CNC tubeless rims to be used uh, on bikes like the Interceptor and maybe uh, the KTM but now since I believe Royal Enfield is going to be coming out with uh, tubeless fork rims uh, but yeah they are going to be offering it only in 21 inch and 18 inch combinations I don't think they are going to offer for 17 and 18 inch so yeah so that's quick shift and then you have um, then you have these imports that are of supremely high quality uh, you have Hogo you have uh, Norifumi uh, and a couple of other brands uh, I saw one called uh, Scorpion yeah uh, Scorpion um, all look really good um, I know So yeah, that's 101 bucks for a liter. How are you there? Six All right, that's a. F Show me full tank. Let me go ahead and just change the Odo. What's the Odo showing me? It's showing me 227. So, so you see this stupid Odo button. Right, this is the ABS modes. There's road, off road, and rally. Now, I don't need rally, so <laughs> rally is where it's almost off. So, long press, it's on road now. All right, right, so I've reset. I was pressing the wrong button. I'm gonna press the lower button, it's been reset to zero. Uh, you can see the fuel bar is now a little uh, one one notch below uh, low. So yeah, the bike uh, is very frugal, gives me very good mileage. So uh, other than uh, like uh, I'm uh, other than the exhaust, um, um, I would uh, then get the engage um, hyperflow air filter. That, ex that air filter, believe it or not, is a little more expensive than uh, 
the interceptor uh, air filter because it's got a sponge element around it. Um, then uh, you have um, uh, the uh, Fuel X Pro, the same, basically the same kind of performance mods that I've done uh, on the interceptor, like I said, right? Intake, exhaust, and fueling. So those are the plans with the X Pulse sometime in the future. But as of now, I don't f really feel the need for it because. Uh, I mean, like I explained, uh, the power uh, in the city is not, uh, you know, lacking. I don't feel, find it lacking. Um, ergonomics wise, I think it can do with some better ergonomics. But uh, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out as I keep riding the bike, doing some small bits to it. I, I added my first, my second accessory. The first accessory is this mount. So, yeah, and uh, here's the interceptor that I showed you last time, I mean the Continental GT. All right. So that was that was today's adventure on the Xpulse. Uh, yeah, hope you like the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I I'm seeing a lot of people watching my videos but not subscribing. Subscribe, people, please. I need your subscriptions. You don't have to pay anything to me. Just click on a button. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, finally open the helmet lid. Breathe a little better. Alright. Yeah. 